Yo, what is going on everybody? I am your host, Slackers Gaming, bringing you the next matchup in the DLC character tournament. So real quick, if you're new, yes, I'm always going to do this. Sorry to, you know, the people that come back every day that know the rules, but there are a few rules if you're new. Uh, one vote per person. The way you vote in this tournament is by simply typing the name of the character you'd rather see as a DLC well, character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Today's matchup is Lloyd Irving taking on Geno. I'll jump into that match in just a bit. So if you want to vote for either one of those characters, simply type the name. Again, one vote per person. This is a double elimination tournament. Character has to lose twice before they're officially eliminated. If there's a tie in the voting, I flip a coin and we settle it that way. Pretty simple. Go till there's a winner and, you know, tournament. So, yeah, pretty simple. All right, now that that is out of the way, we have to go over the results from what last Wednesday? What day is it? Yeah, Wednesday. I'm pretty sure. So last Wednesday, what were there? It was uh, Steve and Isaac. And again, all this week, every uh, result we get is from the loser bracket. Meaning, well, they're already in the, in the loser bracket, so they have a loss. So every character this week that gets that gets a loss, you know, from their results, is officially eliminated from the tournament. So this one was going to be interesting because it featured Steve, and I figured. There, there's a lot of people talking about Steve from Minecraft, and again, I'm neutral on the character. I, I've never played the game, so I don't really have an, a positive opinion about the character, and I don't have a negative opinion, so I'm just kind of like, eh, whatever uh, on the character, honestly. I, I don't care one way or the other, but uh, he's taken on Isaac and assist trophy. Again, interesting to see how people would vote, you know, oh, he's an assist trophy. Again, none of that stuff matters. Uh, if they're assist trophy, Pokeball, Pokemon, Spirit, Stickers, Sage Hazard, that doesn't matter. This tournament is for fun. So it's interesting to see the results. So let's just go to the results. There it is. Isaac ends up beating Steve. I was kind of surprised. 56 votes to 21. There was, I guess, just, at least in my videos, my small community, there's not, there's not a lot of Steve supporters. Not a lot of Steve supporters. So, I mean, I know they're out there. I see them all over the place. I do. They just, they're just not here. Pretty simple. So yeah, 56 votes for Isaac. Moves on for at least one more matchup because he already has a loss. And if he loses again, well, that's the rules. You're done after two losses. So Steve is officially eliminated. Lost both matchups. Lost to what? Lloyd Irving and now Isaac. So yeah, Steve is Steve had a first run by, so I guess he had one win at least. But uh, yeah, so congrats to Isaac for moving on. So today's matchup, like I said just a little bit ago, is Lloyd Irving from the Tales of series taking on Gino. And again, I, I we'll just we'll just talk about Gino. We'll just talk about it eventually. But uh, let's jump into it. So first up, Lloyd Irving, right? Did have the me outfit in Wii U 3DS. I don't know if he's I don't know if that came back. Hello. Did that come back in Smash Ultimate? If it did, I haven't unlocked it yet. Or I haven't seen it pop up in, like, the shop where you can buy stuff. I haven't seen it. So I don't know if it is returned. If it is, I wouldn't be surprised. But, you know, Tales of, that's a Bandai series, right? Um, Bandai working on the game. Probably they'll get a DLC character. Uh, you know, if I had to put... You know, if I had to guess on it, I'd say, you know, Bandai helping Nintendo with this huge game, this huge task, you know, even more fighters. I'd, I'd, I'd see it as Nintendo kind of being like, yo, Bandai again, thank you for helping us, you know, well, make it your pick. Who, you know, in terms of Bandai, who, who would you want us to try to put in the roster and make playable? And maybe they say Lloyd Irving, you know, I, I mean, he's kind of... He's, he's an icon, somewhat of an icon. I mean, he's got a big following. I mean, having that me outfit in Smash Wii U 3DS, like I said, kind of, I don't know if that was like Nintendo's kind of way of, you know, thinking about the character or if Bandai was the one that, hey, can we get this in the game? Or maybe Nintendo approached them and said, hey, we kind of like this character. You know, could we get, uh, could we put him as a me outfit at least or something like that? I don't know. So either way, it seems like there's, some sort of interest, and there's always that possibility that, you know, this time around, they can get him to work. It'd be really, he'd be an interesting character in terms of a dual-wielding sword user. We don't have one of those, and I, yeah, a lot of people are like, yeah, too many sword wielders. I get it, but if you can make the the movesets different, you know, from sword user to sword user, especially dual swords, um, I'm all for it, you know. More the merrier, as long as they bring some uniqueness to the moveset, you know, with 
you know, the same weapon as, like, a bunch of other characters have. So, I, I'd like to see Lloyd. I've never played the Tales of series. I've heard about it. I had a couple close friends that play it, but never understood. Not that I didn't understand. It's just I never played it, never was interested in it. That's the way I'll put it. But Lloyd is definitely a character to probably look out for. It's got to be, I think, high up there in terms of consideration. Again, Nintendo's already picked the, the DLC, so we already know all that stuff. Uh, but maybe they picked him, maybe they didn't. We'll end up finding out. So, uh, and plus, Lloyd is a character that gets talked about quite a bit, you know, for DLC. Either wants, predictions, or expectations, maybe. So, he's got a good chance. I think uh, Lloyd is a name and a character to watch out for. Uh, and, again, I think he'd be unique in terms of the dual-wielding sword uh, for, like, his moveset. I think that'd be pretty cool and un somewhat unique at least so yeah let's move on to his opponent Gino so Gino is always has always been like a character that's been talked about so much and a lot leading up to Smash Ultimate kind of figured all right hey we got that Gino me outfit in three Wii U 3DS maybe Square will finally give us you know give Nintendo give them permission to use Gino as a playable character because that's what it comes down to when you talk about Gino. If Gino were to get in the game, it's because Square would let Nintendo use him. Again, there's no benefit for Square to say, yeah, go ahead and use him. They, you got to keep this in mind from a business standpoint. Besides getting money for the license for the character. There's no there's no benefit for Square. They're not promoting him. They're not using Gino in any upcoming games. They don't plan on it. He's just like a character that they own that they don't they're not they just don't have plans with. And it's kind of sad cuz he's a cool character from the Super Mario RPG game. Maybe Nintendo and Square could get together and make a sequel or you know another something with Gino. I think that'd be really cool. That'd be actually really cool for the Switch, honestly. That'd be kind of I'd like that. Come on, let's have let's make that let's make that happen, and then we could talk about Gino again. The next Smash game that pops up, or maybe DLC. I don't know, but um, so yeah, Gino always a you know pop popular character, popular name that gets thrown around was kind of expected by a lot of people. You know, Sakurai's wanted him for a long time. Uh, the fans have wanted him for a long time. Sakurai kind of envisioned his move set pretty sim uh, somewhat similar to how the Me Gunners moveset works i mean you kind of get somewhat of an idea of how his moveset could kind of be i just think you know as a fan of Gino, as, as a fan of super mario rpg a great game by the way you know uh, i just i i hope that someday Gino can be playable in smash just for fans of Gino and people that well don't quite understand you know just the moveset the whole character, I know some people are like, he doesn't have a personality, he's just all that. Uh, I, I don't care. I When I play Smash, I'm not playing a character for their personality, honestly. I'm playing it because of their moveset and, you know, if I just like the character. So, I don't know. Gino is he's just always in a weird spot. He, it always comes down to, does, does Square let it happen? Maybe, maybe not, because there's that rumor that Square is supposed to be getting a DLC character. Um, Virgaben said he was supposed to be the first DLC character. Well, Virgaben was completely wrong about that. But it's still sticking by Square getting a character for DLC. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows at this point? We'll see. We'll see some point soon. But, um, yeah, for this matchup, uh, this one's easy for me because I have more personal attachment and a more of a want for a character for one of these characters than I do the other, which is Gino. So my vote is Gino. Easy on this one. Uh, he's been a character I've wanted since the Brawl days, you know, and ever since we've kept getting a few more characters, you know, he's kind of been creeping up my list a bit more, a bit more. He's top three, top five wanted, most wanted character for me personally. So Gino gets my vote in this one. So that pretty much leaves one question: Who you got? Uh, pretty simple. Again, vote Gino. Or Lloyd Irving, one of the two, and uh, we'll end up finding out the results next Wednesday. So, yeah, because it's what Monday, two Monday's Christmas Eve, and Tuesday's Christmas. I think I'll still upload them, you know, the DLC matchup, but yeah, that'll probably be it. But uh, 
different issue. Uh, anyway, so that's pretty much going to be it. Uh, sneak peek for tomorrow's episode. Let's see. The matchup is going to be Tails taking on Sora. Good luck, Tails. You've had a pretty good run so far. Check this out. So Tails pretty much blew past Ryu Hayabusa in the first round and then knocked off what I consider a big upset against Dixie Kong in the second round. Tails had a lot of support. 68 votes round one, 67 votes round two. Pretty cool. Now taking on one of the juggernauts of the tournament in Sora. So we'll see how Tails does in that. That'll, that should be pretty cool to see. And then uh, tomorrow's result will be Paper Mario taking on Spyro. Again, one of those characters will be going home. The winner gets to move on to face Isaac. So I guess with that being said, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Not much left to say other than, yeah. Uh, I guess look, I'm looking forward to the votes again as usual, and hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully we catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.